Pamela Bursler, and I'm managing member of G3 Green Gardens Group, and we are the conveners of the Urban Soil Carbon Water Summit, which next year is going to be just called the Soil Summit because it's hard to remember. But it's all important stuff, and we're really excited to be here at the Natural History Museum in this amazing garden with all of you, learning about how we can use soil to solve a lot of our environmental problems. My name is Carol Bornstein. I'm the director of the Nature Gardens at the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County. I oversee the ongoing development and care of the relatively new Nature Gardens, the three and a half acres here that were recently developed and open to the public. I like to tell people that I'm, I oversee the living parts of the museum. The museum's mission is to inspire wonder, discovery, and responsibility for our natural and cultural worlds. The museum is an educational research institution and the focus of this summit is all about sharing the science as well as providing an educational you know, conduit for people who are interested in this topic and it's extremely relevant to what the museum is focusing on right now which is nature in the urban landscape. Sophie Parker from the Nature Conservancy is going to help us demystify how this soil biome actually works. My name is Sophie Parker. I'm a scientist for the Nature Conservancy. And the mission of the Nature Conservancy is to protect the lands and waters on which all life depends. And this meshes really well with the goal of the summit because most of the life on Earth is actually found in the soil. Soil to me is one of the last frontiers and there's just a tremendous amount of information yet to be discovered. And that I think fits in with a lot of what's going on here in terms of research at the museum. Um, we built these gardens, like I said, to um, provide an opportunity for our visitors to connect with nature and in building the gardens, a tremendous amount of emphasis among the staff and our consultants had to do with the soils that were here and the changes that we had to make in order to make this garden thrive. I became interested in becoming a soil ecologist after a field trip that I took as a student. We went out into the forest and actually dug a hole into the ground to look at the soil. And what was interesting was that on the surface the soil looked very uniform. It was all one color, all brown. But as we dug down we found that the soil was multicolored like layers in a cake. There was actually even a white layer. And what I came to understand is that there were many mysteries down in the soil that needed to be uncovered. And that's how I became interested in soil ecology. One of the issues with talking about soil is you can't see it, really. I mean, it's all below ground. This conference is all about how do we demystify what's going on in the soil. Just because we can't see something with the naked eye does not mean it's not important. You've probably um, killed most of the, the viability, the living organisms that were there that could help sustain plants because you need those to, um, to make the nutrients available and the water available for the plants. And so, um, and so you know, solutions to you know, new formulas, new ways to think about from the beginning of any project and once if, or from a project that's already been in place, how to repair. Um, to bring back life to the soil that has been so um, substantially degraded. It's easy to remember what is healthy living soil. It's essentially oxygen, water, and life, or owl, as we like to say. And living soil is comprised of billions of microbes that all work together with plants. We are completely dependent on the soil, so it's a mistake not to think about it. I think the museum sees itself as being on the cutting edge of, um, again, this, con this bridge um, between the, the science um, and passing along that information to um, our constituents, all the many visitors that we have here. And we take our public programming here extremely seriously and we have developed, in my short tenure here, all kinds of different programs for our diverse audiences and this is another example of being out on the leading edge of um, making sure that um, we are sharing knowledge that citizens of the planet need to know about. So that's probably one of the reasons, one of the main reasons why we decided to do this. I was in a meeting a couple of months ago and we were talking about a stormwater best management practice and essentially the people said you have to remove all of the soil in this area 
and replace it with engineered soil because we need to have a Brita filter that stormwater can go through and get cleaned. And I thought to myself, wow, we need to have more understanding of how soil actually works. A Brita filter is going to have to be replaced in a couple of years. If we kept the soil in place and we built up that soil biome, we could actually create living soil and living soil clean stormwater. I want everybody to learn a little bit more about that. What we're going to be discussing at the Soil Summit is extremely important for people who are interested in water quality. This is because soils are very important for filtering water as it moves down through the soil. It's like a sponge or a natural filter that helps take water that has all kinds of chemicals or pollutants and actually filters those components out so what you get out of the bottom that flows into the streams and into the ocean is clean, fresh water. Mr. Protozoa is going to be there. Actually, someone sent me an email the other day and they, they said, wow, what an amazing lineup of speakers. I'm excited to hear Mr. Protozoa. <laughs> I thought that was funny. I'm excited to hear from others who are going to be speaking at this conference because there'll be leaders there from nonprofits and from agencies who are doing things to help maintain the integrity of soil. And this is really exciting to me because I'm excited to learn about what these other entities are doing. Want to catch Ray Archuleta, the soil guy from NRCS, live and in person? You've got to come to the conference in order to do that. I don't think people realize that the majority of life on Earth lives in the soil because I don't think most people think about the soil very often. Kristen Olson is the author of The Soil Will Save Us. And you know what? She's right. <laughs>